Welcome to Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church's weekly impact Bible study like none other, where you will hear the relevant, reviving, and refreshing Word of God. Now here is Pastor Vernon Bright. Good evening, Facebook. Good evening. Good evening, Facebook. Good evening in the house. Good evening. Good evening. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. We thank you for joining us tonight in service and now in person, I should say, and online at another Impact Bible Study here at Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church. We hope that something will be said and you will learn something that will help you on your journey in this life. Uh, before we get started, if you felt led to sow into this ministry to help us expand the kingdom of God and get the word out to more people, you can download the Gilbert Fire app if you haven't already looked for Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church, or you can use the shortcut of the cash at the dollar sign, KBCCC, that's three C's, 55, and you'll be sown into good ground. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to continue with our uh, series of teaching, uh, Faith in Crisis. Uh, what we want to talk about tonight is... I think it's very, very vital. We probably went over it a couple of weeks ago. Words, your words, and your works. Um, it's vital that you know that your words are important. Your words are more than just sound. The Bible says that your words are death and life. Um, I know you heard the nursery rhyme. Y'all may have to help me with it. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but the words never. Well, whoever wrote that nursery rhyme was crying when they wrote it. Because words are cut you to pieces. Words can make you feel real bad. Especially depending on where they're coming from. And also, words are power. Amen. They're powerful. Words can build things. Words can tear down things. That's what's called death and life. God uh, knew words are so important that when Jesus got to create the world, he spoke it into existence. Amen. He spoke it. He didn't get a hammer and nail. He spoke it. So you can, since we're made in his image, and in his likeness, then we can speak our world into existence. That's right. That's right. Come on, come on. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, that, was a, that was a get happy point right there. Amen. You can speak your world into existence. Amen. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not hitting that point too good. Anybody got anything they want better or want some love in their life. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to speak it for it to come to pass. Because right. right. the Word of God said you will have yes. what you say. You, if you don't say it, you don't get it. The word of God says you have not because you have not. So that means you've got to get word out of your mouth. Okay, I'm just going to sit here and not say nothing. No, you won't get anything. Mm -hmm. Because God's word is true. Amen. God's not going to change his word for anybody, including your truth. Mm -hmm. If he said it's got to be spoke, then i got to speak it as well. Amen. You have to speak it for it to come to pass. God is not arbitrary or automatically has to bless you if you don't ever ask. Amen. Right. He don't have to. All he can do is that, just wake up. And you wake up, but you can't move. You wake up, you can't breathe on your own. You want to have more than just waking up. Amen. You want to have the activities of your limbs. Amen. You want to be clothed. And in your right mind. You know, you, you want to have a reasonable portion of health and strength. You, these are things that you want. You want 
You want trouble to go away. Trouble, trouble don't just go away because you want it. You have to tell trouble get gone. Yeah. You know, you heard, you heard right before we went on the air. It said, uh, I, I, somebody said, they I ain't gonna call them that. <laughs> somebody said they told somebody the day ain't your day and tomorrow ain't looking good either. <laughs> All they wanted was something to eat. Mm-hmm. Oh, didn't want something to eat. But you have to tell the, you have to tell trouble that you already know now that you have to speak this stuff more now than every day because it used to be you have to go find trouble. Mm-hmm. Now trouble come to your house. Mm-hmm. It don't even knock on the door no more. Mm-hmm. It used to knock on the door and you go to the door. Mm-hmm. It just come on in. Yep. Trouble will. Mm-hmm. So you gotta learn to start talking to things. Well, things will start getting better in your life. Because Matthew, I mean, Mark 11 and 23, 23 said, If you would say to this mountain, yeah. Yeah. if you would say to the now, it's not talking about the Appalachian, Black Hills, Rocky Mountain, it's talking about issues in your life. If you would talk to them, be removed, it had to go into the, it said, had to go into the water. Now, so what? If you got a headache, the first thing you want to do is take a pill or powder. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, start working on your faith to build your faith. Say, I'm going to take this pill, but headache, you be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. You got to talk to it. You ever notice how you, uh, if you say the wrong thing out of your mouth, things get worse? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever notice that? You ever notice how you intend to listen to words that other people say and don't pay much attention to what you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. I, I wish you would call me that again. I wish you would call me that again. And you get called that again. Now you ready to fight, but you called it like you wanted it. I wish you would. The wish factor. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't praying with you. Okay, then if you put it out there, they, they, they ain't gonna be praying with you either. Amen. Cause see, it used to be a long time ago, there was a few bad people. Yeah, yeah, you read on it. <laughs> Everybody bad. Yeah, yeah, your words matter. You got that? Amen. You tell your neighbor your words matter. Your words, your words, matter. Matter. Your words matter. They ma- it matters what you say. Right. If God say say to the mountain or the issue or the situation or the problem, talk to it. Yeah. Okay, here's a cliche. Anybody ever said this? Oh my feet killing me. Your feet don't never stop her. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't cause you got shoes on too tight. <laughs> that, might, that might have something to do with it. But you you call it like you want. They're killing you. Just hurt out. Now you try to get the toenail done. Get a foot massage. Mm-hmm. Things of that nature. You try when get those things. I'm not saying don't get those things. But say, oh, my feet gonna stop hurting any minute now. It's those type of things you need to say. You ever, anybody, anybody, anybody got a kid out there in Facebook land, in the audience? You ever notice what you say, your children will pick up on what you say? And then, sometimes they'll get you in a bind. Oh, okay. I, I know nobody do it like a world up like it used to be. Back in the back in the day we had landlines. Ain't nobody got no landline no more now. I do. I'm just saying something I do. Okay. <laughs> you got a landline and a and a and a and a and a cell phone. You know, way back in the day when Sister Betty would come up back in her day. Yeah. Cause I ain't that old. <laughs> <laughs> you would you know when the telephone rang, your child would ask for the phone. Mm-hmm. And they beat you to the phone. And you tell them to tell them I am. And then they do exactly what you said. Mama said, she ain't here. <laughs> then I put you in a bind. And you don't talk to them how to lie. Got it? Yeah. So you got to keep that 
in mind. Just like believing, you know, it, it's all your act or your will. You got to will yourself to start saying the right thing. Amen. Y'all, are y'all listening to me? Mm-hmm. Listen to this. What? Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you how important it is. Uh, anybody ever said, how you doing today? I mean, you heard somebody say to you, oh, what are you how you doing today? And you would say something like, oh, Lord, I'm catching hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> somebody ever said that? Mm-hmm. Well, how do you get rid of that? Number one, you let it go. Let it go and stop saying that. Or you will say, I'm uh, I'm having a how you doing today? Well, under the circumstance, under the circumstance, you on top of the circumstance. You on top of your situation. Are you listening to me? You're not under you know, you got the Bible says you have dominion. So you're on top of your situation. You're not under it. You're facing the mountain. Speak to the mountain. You, you got to tell yourself, I'm going to have a good day today. And don't base it on what nobody else doing. It was a rough day today. It wasn't. My day was all right. You made some, you made some mistakes. You, you made a lot of mistakes today. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe this was the dumbest day of your life. But count it all good. Because I'm going to stop being dumb today. Amen. Ain't had no more dumb days. Not like this. You got to speak it into existence. Okay. I ain't getting nobody to change it on me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Anybody ever been single? Amen. <laughs> and, you, and you saw that honk you wanted. <laughs> Oh, you're st- I'm going to get him. I'm going to get That's why you kept walking by him three or four times. You ain't been going that way at all. Now you decided, because you said to yourself, I'm going to walk, I'm going to get him. And you walk by, because you want the attention. <laughs> Me and they don't want to be saying that. You know, I, my son's about to tell you, he called like he wanted. He was he's in the pool hall. That's gonna be my wife. Uh, and got him. But he put it out there okay. and got it. Okay, y'all don't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> that was that woman in the Bible that had a mountain in her life for twelve long years. The Bible said, she said, the Bible said, she said, the Bible said, she said unto herself, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She said to herself, she didn't listen to nobody else, she said it to herself. When she got to Jesus and she did exactly what she said to herself, Jesus turned around and said, I'm going to hear you now. He didn't then he said, Your faith or what you spoke out of your mouth made you whole. Right, right, right. What you said you were going to do came to pass. Now that Jesus touched me, if I touch his garment, I shall be made whole. She was not it's your blood dried up. All the money came back. How got straight? Amen. You see what happened when you speak it? Yeah. I ain't gonna give the women all the credit. Blind Bartimaeus, they heard. He heard. Somebody said Jesus coming back here. He couldn't see it, but he heard it. He said, if I get to the side of the road, I'm gonna get my healing. Jesus. He called Jesus' name three times. Jesus heard that, bring him to me. What do you want, blind bottom man? If he hadn't said it, he wouldn't have got it. That I'm getting my sight. Well, you got what you want. If you don't say it, you can't get it. I'm going to be a better person. When? Today. But see, you don't believe that? That was a shocking point. 
Let somebody tell you what be nothing. You be you be shouting that for real. Right. Said ain't gonna be nothing. I ain't resting with that. <laughs> Most people would try to hinder those people. Most people that can't get anything done are trying to hinder those people that can. Right. No one right about that. Yeah. They see you doing it, they don't want to put forth the effort, so therefore they say you can't do it. Amen. But you'll have what you say. Amen. You got it? God wants you to have your words to be mixed with your works. Y'all help me out? Say something, but I'm maybe they couldn't help. <laughs> Anybody ever say it out loud? I'm going to do better. Yeah. You meant that when you said it. Yeah. When you said it, did things get better? Yeah. You got to start doing something to get better. Your word now got some works. Woo! My house sure need cleaning. <laughs> well, it ain't gonna clean itself. Amen. It may need to be clean, but then you gotta get to a point that you gotta make an effort. How somebody you do something? Amen. Amen. This is something I know. It, it may be in just some. It may not be in everybody's house. I know it ain't in everybody's house. Maybe some people have. You ever notice? You ever heard about say that they sat in mouth? Come to come. Ooh, let me get this out clean before they get here. It don't be clean before I'm just asking. I don't know. You don't go clean when come to come? All right. Deep clean. Are you, are, are you one of them neat freak where you can't put a paper plate on the counter? Nope. Who put the plate on the counter? It just got there. Mm -hmm. Are you cleaning all the time? I'm asking Courtney. Y'all ain't saying no. Believe what I'm gonna believe, okay? You gotta learn to align your words with your works. Amen. Faith without works is dead. Amen. Okay, here we go. I'm finna lay up level the playing field if I can. Anybody ever spoke out of their mouth this good thing? I love the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on. Wait a minute. I love the Lord. Amen. What were your actions after that? What were your actions? Did you have any action after you spoke? I love God. You gotta have corresponding actions to go with your words. <coughs> Jesus made a statement, he says, you talk real good, but your heart is far from me. In other words, you ain't got no actions. Your actions should be that you love God. If you say you do, it should be some kind of cause for an action. And, and it, more, it got to be more of an action than putting on the t-shirt. Because it speaks for itself. Well, I got the shirt on. It's got to be more of an action than coming to church. Amen. Bible study. Ooh. Or Sunday school. <laughs> now those things are good, but some of y'all are doing it already. You need to go a little step up. Amen. Maybe your devotional time ought to last another minute. You understand what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe your facial increase and not act and say thank you. Are you with me? Amen. See, we got we got to keep our works, and that's what's got the church in a law. We talk a lot of good things, but we do very little things that people can see that's good. All right. All right. I still believe in my heart, from the very depths of my heart, with me included. The reason the world is messed up. The church as a whole is messed up. Amen. 
We're the ones supposed to be putting our trust and having a faith in the Lord, but yet we don't have any action outside the four walls. You know, I tell y'all this, <laughs> and I meant it from my heart. You know, I'm blessed to have a wife that loves the Lord, and I see her reading the word, and I see her going on and things like that, and of course I do it, and Asia does it, and she's a praise leader. And I tell y'all about that, it ought to be smoke coming from my house all the time. On fire, yeah. I ain't talking about a natural fire. We ought to be smoking. Folk ought to stop by and say, we just saw some smoke. What's going on? <laughs> I'm serious. Three people in the same house, loving God. It ain't no smoke. Yeah, mm. That might be saying, mm. I, I don't look at them. I think about me and say, what can I do? To get it heated up. Don't hide it. Oh, come on, y'all, y'all make me look bad. You know how it in your fire not burning, you put gas on it. Right. Amen. Well, if it ain't burning like the one you want to burn, you throw a little something on it, throw another log on it. Heat it up. Yeah. See, it's things like that we gotta learn to do. That will yeah. Get too many people, if you were this old last night, too many people are hurting. Right. Amen. Right. For us to be in a law as a church. If we would start coming together, just this group right here on Facebook, and start praying consistently and persistently, then things would change in the world Amen. where we live. Y'all do know, I don't care how many laws they pass about gun, it ain't going to stop no killing. Amen. Ain't going to stop no killing. But the prayer of the righteous of Bella much, yeah. it would stop it. Because right. the book of Chronicles says, and you may have to help me with this a little bit, because I may not be as versed in the word as some of you are. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, humble themselves. Get off your horse. Let this let the cell phone along for a minute. Pray. Turn from the wicked way, then something will take place. Then I will heal the land. He would. You know, don't worry about the whole world just go by you. Well, you ain't being healed. Amen. Your land will be right in your house. See, all Satan doing now is running around rampant because we allowed it and jacking houses up, <coughs> families up. That's being the church racket. Because we are the church. We got, when we leave here, we want family right now, corporate family. When we leave here, we become separate families. Amen. And we will come here and we'll be pious. Looking good. You, you, everyone, y'all look like a Christian. <laughs> 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 I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> But see, in our works, it's going to show us. Right. You know, and look, we do some good things. Because I want you to know that I hear this. I heard it again last night. And for people I don't know, this is a loving church. Amen. I heard it last night. Amen. You got such a loving church. I took all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> but I take, I take all the blame when say, you know, you know I, I'll just say, you know. But... They see some actions to say we're a loving church. Mm -hmm. It's our actions. Now, that don't mean we're perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. I know every now and then y'all, y'all don't be meaning no harm. Y'all have them conversations. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, you're human. Okay, let me level the playing field again. We all have sin. Amen. And come show the glory of God. Okay, but they don't give you no excuse to keep sin. Okay? So, you are not necessarily fighting, watch this, with the devil most of the time when it comes to your words and works. You fighting with you. Right. Your inner you. Now, he's, he tempts you. Let me, let me show you how much power Satan got. Not in it. All he can do is tempt you, and you decide to do it. I wouldn't intend to do that. Well, who made you do it? 
Flip was a lie. The devil made me do it. No, he tempted you. And you went on and did it. I didn't mean to tell that lie. Well, what lie do you mean to tell? <laughs> well, it wasn't no, really no lie. It was a half truth. Half truth, whole lie. Come on. See, you got, see, we'll say things that really not even conducive. Okay, okay, watch, okay. Anyway, who likes singing? Y'all better raise your hand up in here because y'all be trying to sing every Sunday. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all like songs, right? Yeah. I mean, you maybe, maybe you can't carry a tune on the boat. That's all right. But you like, you like songs. Okay, watch it. Y'all ever heard this song? And I, 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 bro, this is something. He's an old time God. Yeah, he is. May not come when you. But he but it, well, see, that's a misnomer. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So he go always be on. Time. May not come when you want it, but he ain't never leave you right there. Always on time. Sure, he ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. But it sounds good. Amen. He is the on time God. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. May not come when he want to view him right there. Oh, yes, he will. He'll be right there, but they ain't went nowhere. See, all the time when the answer that we have is right there with us, but we'll look elsewhere. Amen. We'll let our work take us elsewhere. I, it's like I heard something the other day, you know, in my aunt's funeral said, uh, don't let nobody tell you uh, you can't grieve as long as you want to. Well, I understand what's behind that, the generality, okay? You can grieve forever, and then you'll mess around and be messed up forever. Amen. Now, listen, I understand about missing somebody you love. My dad been gone for a while. I don't grieve on him. I grieve a while, but I miss him. Right. I don't custody. I ain't, I, I, I'm not a put down. Please don't take me on. Don't write me no letter. Don't email me. Don't tweet me. Don't do none of that. <laughs> I ain't kissing no pizza, pictures. <laughs> oh, I just missed that. Now, I... Really, I can't miss it now because tell the picture which she gave for my birthday, a, a collage of me, a generation. My dad, me, my son, and my grandson. I see dad every day. And when Grace and I have a choice, because she's going to look at the pictures. I don't know why she can't look up where she is. She want me to pick up what she can look at. Her. And she want me to call him by name. But it's all right to miss them. And it's all right to grieve. But don't grieve forever. That means you're not trusting God. <coughs> okay, let me help with that because somebody looked at me like I don't love mother. Yeah, if they in a better place, that's what we say, right? Amen. Then, then you got to know if they're in a better place, you don't have to continue to grieve. Miss them, but don't have to continue to grieve. Amen. Just make your works come in line where you can get to the better place they are. Amen. Okay? All right. So, um, we need to learn, if you will, to watch our words and what we do. More, I've learned this in a lifetime, and I heard before I got a little in my prime. More is caught than taught. Kids will do anything they see you do. And I mess around and do it better. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. How does a child you learn to use profanity? You don't teach it to them, they call it. You indirectly taught it to them. Why do your child always yell? Not because you're yelling at them. Why your child always loud? Oh, you lie. Why your child always looking at TV? Oh, you always looking at TV. How did your child learn to gamble? They probably saw you gamble. Come on. It's like that. Drinking. What are the case? It's like that. It's like that. You got You got the Bible said to be circumspect from the world. You got to learn how to do things in a way. I ain't talking about doing nothing wrong, sneaky, but you can't get away with it anyway. 
But you gotta learn how to walk with certain respect or watch how you treat uh, your actions in the world. Am I making sense to you? Amen. See, your actions will speak louder than anything you ever do. I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody around here last night said, We're a loving church. I didn't hear it. But I heard other people say, Y'all are loving church. How? By the actions. You got it? Your works. Your works. Um. You got to learn to have what I call, or not to have. It's called, well, and then it's not in the Bible, but I call it argumentative faith. And in your, in your faith journey, have you ever, or on this life journey, have you ever said, maybe on your workplace or wherever, I ain't going to be arguing no Bible. Well, if you know what you're talking about, you argue. Y'all missed that. Yeah. All the time when people say that I'm not going to argue no Bible, they really not sure about what they're talking about. Amen. But if you know God is your personal Savior, and somebody say, God ain't no Savior, yes, He is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, He ain't going to be that. That's you. He saved me. Amen. That, you argue that. Totally. Yeah. Because you know you can't save yourself. And you didn't say yourself. Because you'll say, I come to God when I get myself together. You won't make it. You got to come when he draw you. Got it? So you argue that. God drew me to him. Anybody, anybody ever found God? He ain't never been lost. He found you. So that's why you can argue that. You ain't got to know every script of the Bible. When they get that far, you go learn about it. You ain't going to that. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> all I know is he saved me. That's all I know. I'm going to stand on that. You know, and then you, you can argue alone. You, that's all, all day long. I, why you going to serve that and say, well, listen, until you can find me another God that can create a world and speak it into his destiny and create a man and speak it into his destiny and blow life in, into his breath, then I'm going to stay with a God like that. Amen. Because they told me he is alive and well. And the one you serve is still in the grave. Buddha. Muhammad. They still in there. Sister Mary. St. Peter. They still in there. If there's such a thing. You argue what you know. And not really argue that. Argue many people try to put you in doubt what you already know. Yeah, mm -hmm. they try, try to make you be in doubt. Mm -hmm. Here's somebody talking about grieving. How did you get past that? It was God. And then what? They'll come back. But how did you get past that? It was God. I just want to know how you made it. I told you three times already with God. It was God. I don't know how He did it, but I do know He did it. Where did you get the peace from, God? That surpasses all understanding. Here is a work of faith that you got to keep going at all times. Then we're we'll ready to close. It won't cost you nothing. I started to charge you. <laughs> you think, okay, I'm going to get it to you for you. Stop. Here's your words. Stop trying to figure out how God is going to make it better for you by trusting him. Amen. Just know he's going to do it. Because what? He knows the plan to prosper, to prosper you. And to bring you good success. That means you don't know the plan and you don't need to know what well, he hiding it from and no, all he hiding it for you. You trust him that he know what he's doing. Anybody been trying to figure out something for a long time? Well, you need to give to God. Because he already got it worked out, figured out. He already got it. He already got it. Don't be so naive to think that God can't do it. 
Don't be so naive to think, well, I done got too old now. For what? Do y'all know old money spent as good as new money? Y'all ought to know. <laughs> old people spend it, young people spend it. Come on. Come on. What? No, you're not too old. You just wait for God to use you for you to get the plan of success operating in your life. But it's up to you. Coming to the greatest church on earth, Amen. don't get it done. Amen. You got to do some work after you leave the greatest church on earth. Amen. Somebody ask what church is that? Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all make it up. You got it? Amen. Use your faith. Watch what you're saying from this day forward. Right. Watch what you say. Don't, don't be on the phone and somebody made you mad and you put it on me. I'll be <laughs> Don't say that. Because <laughs> you just put it on yourself. Mm-hmm. Got it? And stop answering the things that are not even pertaining to you, women. If they call you a dog, you don't have to be worried. Don't, don't, don't stop. Keep walking. That ain't you. Don't you let your girlfriend call you that. Let no right out. You say that, we're going to fight. <laughs> no, you don't, don't even acknowledge it. You say, don't come to me because I'm not that. Because you're not that. Right. Stop selling for the mess. And listen, if people see you talking to yourself, don't consider it crazy. Got it? Then the one with the issue of blood talk to herself? Yeah. Talk to yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I used to make a joke to an agent and when I was coming up and asking them, they said, you talk to yourself, Papa? I said, yeah, but ain't that crazy? I said, no, it ain't crazy unless I, I don't answer myself. <laughs> I'm, if I'm going to talk to myself, I'm going to give myself an answer. What do I need to do? If I ever said that, then I go over the answer. Oh, I need to go to God. I wasn't kidding. See, there's nothing wrong. The world trying to make you look stupid, but the world is stupid. Anybody need help, don't act for help. Yes. I didn't say it, y'all said it. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> that's how it is. And listen, needing help is more than just somebody giving you tangible things. Right. Amen. When you decide, watch this, when you decide to come to church, you won't help. You decide to come to Bible study, you won't help. You decide to come to Sunday school, you won't help. You decide to trust God, that means you won't help. You got it? I hope and pray that something was said to help you along this life journey. Words and works will build your world. It'll build your world. You can speak what you want into existence. And because it don't take place right when you think it ought to, don't mean it's not working. I've seen God do his best work when you think he's not doing anything. If you ask him, he's faithful to do it. If you ask him in faith, okay? I hope it's been a blessing to you tonight. Remember this, you stay focused. You stay in faith. But most of all, you stay connected to the church like none other. We are Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church. We'll see you early Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Come be with us. Love you. Bye.